Hi, Photo Tristan here, and in this video, I'm talking about watch tools. If you're a watch person like me, you probably are wondering what are some good tools to have on hand to use occasionally for things like watch band resizing or watch bracelet removal so you can install a NATO strap and things like that. The first and most often used tool you see here, it's the spring bar tool. I use this tool absolutely the most often out of all the watch tools that I own. As you can see, it's got a small side and a large side. The small side is really helpful for sort of reaching in between the lugs and say a leather strap or bracelet to actually access the spring bar so that you can uh, sort of push it and remove the spring bar from the lugs of the watch. It's something that uh, you definitely want to have and uh, this one happens to be a pretty high quality Swiss made one. Going along those same lines, I have here a bamboo shish kebab stick, and this enables you to push out link pins of metal bracelets, and especially gold bracelets, without having to use metal on metal. And you know, that can be important if you have uh, especially something like a soft metal like gold. Now here you can see something I haven't even used yet, but it's a watch band link pin tool kit. Got this pretty cheap. I think it was under ten dollars on Amazon or eBay, and I'll try to post links for all this kind of all this stuff in the description field. But this enables you to place the bracelet in the little holder there on the bottom, and then you just use the pins and sort of tap out the the pins uh, of the watch bracelet. So it's something that uh, is used for sizing watch bracelets primarily. Definitely good to have around. Now also take a look at your watch bracelet. And make and see if it has screws on them with you know like flathead uh, screw heads on them. If so, you'll want to invest in a fairly good quality uh, set of screwdrivers, and you want to use the right size flathead screw for the pins that your watch has. If you use one that's too small, you might end up sort of stripping the flathead screw head. So you definitely want to have some of those on hand, and you can get those fairly cheap as well. This here is an interesting piece. It's basically a watch cushion, and it enables you to sort of work on your watch without having to worry about damaging the watch face or the watch crystal. As you can see, you kind of put it face down like that, and it sort of cushions the watch and gives you a surface to work on. It's a little bit of a luxury item in some ways, although I got it on eBay for about $10. You can also use something like a mouse pad or, you know, mattress pad or, you know, some thin type of foam or something like that works as well. But I just find it nice to have. And then the last item here is just a really nice high quality microfiber cloth. I tend to use ones that are made for eyeglass lenses. I tend to find that those, you know, are the best quality. And it's just good for wiping off smudges and things like that on your watch and periodically, uh, you know, cleaning your watch, maybe with a little eyeglass cleaner or something like that. Also cleans the crystal as well. Now, something I forgot to mention is most spring bar tools come with a little uh, case, as you see here. Be sure to store them in the case because if you ever drop the spring bar tool on like a hardwood floor or something, it could actually damage the hardwood floor and it could also damage the tool itself. So if it comes with the case or something like that, be sure to store it in the case and that'll uh, help you out in the long run. So this has been my short video on the few wash tools that I keep around the house. Uh, what tools do you use or recommend? Go ahead and leave a comment. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with you the tools that I keep around and find uh, that myself using and fairly often. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.